optimistic. So every day strive for the better. But we must remain what we must remember what can come out of such a process. I am a believer that grace builds on grace. That goodwill builds on goodwill. And most importantly, that hope builds on hope. Grace, a religious word. Goodwill, a secular word. Hope, the most basic necessity of all people, is a people word. It is a beautiful thing to behold what I would call a doer. I have been privileged to witness this many times and not just in my travels. Tonight, we honor Emily, because Emily was a doer. What defines her was her ability to recognize her own strengths and to utilize them for the good of others. There was a greater good, a greater cause, an idealism that she embraced. It was through action, but it was also through her decisions. Now I want to introduce you to some of the remarkable people that I've met through this project who, like Emily, embody this call for unity, for action, for hope. Each one is a doer. Let's meet Maria from Nicaragua, second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Here's Maria with her recent husband sitting at their favorite spot at home. It's a hammock underneath banana leaves or banana tree. I first met Maria two years ago. Uh, I was doing hospital visits, like my cousin David said, uh, in, in Nicaragua. She was very sick, her reaction to her antiretroviral medication. She was quiet, reserved, and she was basically lucky to be in a room, in a crowded room, rather than a wheelchair in the hallway. This last fall, when I went back to Nicaragua, Maria gave me a kiss on the cheek and an hola that said, I'm very happy that you're here again. There was a happiness to her that two years ago simply just didn't exist. It was 12 years ago that she had no clue what HIV was before her doctor told her that she had it. She had done nothing wrong. She was in a three-year monogamous relationship with the same man. But she was wrong. The gentleman was not monogamous. In a story that has become all too familiar, it, and including the United States. Her family abandoned her. Her congregation, her congregation barred her from service. And her job washing clothes dried up as soon as the hospital staff leaked that she was HIV positive. Through faith, through blood, and through supposed higher education, those who should have protected and helped her were the exact ones that betrayed her. And that was their decision. Now, Maria had a choice. Continue and accept what was happening, or take a stand, a leap of faith. This is Maria now. It took many years of personal, grassroots hard work with very little resources. But here Maria is at a public, at a public she's giving a public speech, first of all, which is a, something that shows her courage in itself. But it's at the orbit, inauguration of her city's only HIV AIDS self-help group. With German funds and support from a local non-governmental organization, Maria has created a network for advocacy rights, for awareness, and for peer support. Maria is a doer. She's a woman of action, of vision, and most importantly, of courage. She's become a pillar, a rock, a leader in her community. But more importantly, she's a role model for not only the 30 people in the group, but everyone who comes in contact with her. This story is not limited to Nicaragua. Meet Daxa in Surat, India, who created a similar network. And in two years' time, it has 4,000 registered members. She is that she runs the go-to organization for the government of India for her state. A state that since her work has shown documented signs of increasing treatment, testing, and basic understanding of HIV AIDS. This is Ruth Breaker, a woman who in her retirement started feeding meals 
to the ghastly sick and emaciated sufferers of HIV in San Francisco. Ruth saw a simple need and filled it as best as she could. It started 20 years ago with seven meals. Meals with love. It has now blossomed into Project Open Hand. A, uh, an organization that provides wholesome, even organic meals to 1,600 people in the Bay Area, people living with HIV, with cancer, or are critically ill. <coughs> Meet Chang. Chang's from Thailand. Chang's an innovator. He's the lead singer of an all-HIV rock band. <laughs> they have a 